okay guys last few minutes for the day and we'll end our discussion by general physiology so here is the question the distance between one stimulating electrode to the another one is 4.5 you are given distance and the latent period is 1.5 milliseconds so you are given time so you are asked to measure the conduction velocity of the axon see velocity is distance by time so you put in the values let's say 4.5 you have to convert this into meters and second into 1.5 millisecond right so the answer turns out to be 30 meter per second right the normal range for the serum osmolality is if you are the one who wants to know that how did that value come here is the formula you can jot in the value you will get the answer 289 2 into sodium concentration plus glucose by 20 plus blood urea nitrogen by 3 if you jot in the value you'll get 289 so the best option from these values is a now let's say one fine day you're living in this beautiful house look how beautiful it is you have a pond next to your house and one fine day you come out and say hey what's the volume in this pond and how will you measure that to measure that you'll put one die right in that pond and you'll aspirate after putting the die into syringe and look for the concentration of that die now to find that volume the formula is the amount of dye which you have instilled in that pond divided by the concentration you got yet that will give you the volume now but remember that dye shouldn't be the food for the fish right the same thing which we do is in our body and if i teach you pharmacology i'll say you that this is called volume of distribution in pharmacology so in study to detect the extracellular fluid volume 10 gram of mannitol is injected so the amount is so your volume is given by amount you inject upon the concentration you get so what is the amount you have injected is 10 gram of mannitol right and after waiting for the adequate equilibrium concentration you got was 50 milligram per 100 ml right per 100 ml now we have to convert this into standard units let's say 50 milliliter you have to convert this in standard units let's say you convert this into milligram that's why and this goes to liter so you'll end up in 20 liters right and this says in this the 10 percent of mannitol was excreted so you have to subscribe subtract 10 percent out of 20 liter that is 20 minus 10 percent will yield you 18 liters right equilibrium potential for the ion is calculated by nernst equation and once again if you are really one who wants to know that what the hell is nernst equation it's given by 60 millivolt upon value of charge and log of concentration outside and concentration inside that means of that ion regarding transport of substance look whenever this sort of question comes you need to ask two questions to yourself is this the energy required if the answer is yes that means it is active transport if the answer is no it can be passive or facilitated transport if carrier molecule is included it could be either facilitated or active transport so which of the following is false so facilitated diffusion does not require energy the only thing which requires energy is active transport which one of the following is not a transport or binding protein look cellular plasmin binds to copper lactoferrin and transferrin binds to iron and erythropoietin we had discussed that it was secreted by the endothelial cells of the peritubular capillaries right and that stimulates erythropoiesis it does not bind to anything or does not allow itself to bind to anything a granular endoplasmic reticulum that means smooth endoplasmic reticulum is involved in lipid synthesis whereas rough endoplasmic reticulum which has ribosomes attached on its surface is involved in protein synthesis because ribosomes are no needed in protein synthesis 
okay so here's the end of our two hour section sort of feeling bad but anytime you can feel free to contact me here is my email id and you could subscribe me on youtube to get regular updates about the more videos which i make thanks for bearing